Oh, right, all right, all right, guys. Uh, we recently cast a game of Mape the Ape doing a very dirty trick in one of his games. So I've been really wanting to try it out myself. Um, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be going for Phoenix off a of one gate expand, trying to force a Phoenix war, going into DTs, and then using Phoenix Oracle to swoop in and snipe our opponent's observer. Uh, it could work, or it could just fall flat terribly. Uh, <laughs> the idea is if we could just tag the observer, kill it with the Phoenix, and the DTs could start tearing stuff up. We can maybe even rinse and repeat that a few times. That could be a heck of a lot of fun. Um, Gateway is not going to be the fastest, not my tightest opening. The pylon was already delayed by a second or two as well. Uh, 44 seconds, yeah, it's pretty slow for a gateway. That's going to delay the core as well. Um, yeah, that's okay. Though. We might try and just get the Nexus down straight away. See if we can do like a one gas uh, Nexus. Pretty early probe coming over though, so he should block us. Depends. We can try to hide. So we're gonna we're gonna see if we can get that Nexus up. Oh, actually no, he's he's two gating, so I don't want to. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't I don't want to get caught in that situation where. Oh, wait, is he one gating actually? Looks like he is. Ah, oh, okay. Now this might also slow down the cyber core. A little bit late to go for all this, eh? Where's his cyber core? Oh, did he go Nexus? Oh, what? Or does he have something? What? What is happening right now? Oh God. All right, I'm building a second gateway because I do not know what is happening. I'm just freaked out right now. Cyber core? Okay, Cybercore is up, it's just in the back of the base. Whew, fair enough. Um, Panic built a second one there. All right, <clears throat> let's get that Stargate started as well. Two gates and Stargate production, definitely rather intense. Building lots of probes. It's gonna cancel that. Oh really? All right. All right we're gonna go to Phoenix here. Get a shield battery just in case. Actually, screw that. We don't need no shield battery. Nexus. Pylon out here just to see any oracles coming in a little bit early if we can. Okay, uh, yeah, this game's weird. <laughs> um, Let's hope he doesn't see that. These guys, are they all doubled up? No. Where 
Where do our enemies lurk? Just gonna try and proxy a gateway here, see if we can get some warpins on that. Alright, so we're gonna go DT Shrine, and then we're gonna get an Oracle and uh and swoop in. So we've really gotta make sure we actually win the Phoenix fight, of course. Teleport successful. Uh, is that real? On the wings of justice. Okay. The Oracle. Let's try and get the uh, third base up here, shall we? Actually, that down is fine. Teleport successful. That's a lot of Phoenix, that is. Still building them. Where is it? Where's the observer? Oh my god, it's such a dirty trick, dude. for our probes. DTs have got it. Time for battle. I am here. Fear is in an Alan. I am from the shadows. I Nothing left in that mineral cluster. All right, we're trying to make all the stalkers now. And yeah. All right, we probably don't need to be building more probes, actually, if you think about it. Still got Nothing shield batteries that. everywhere.
Alright. Man, I, I thought that Chrono was his own DT for a second. I was like, oh no. Where do our enemies so when he picks me up, that's when the Phoenix can come in real useful, by the way. Enemy is gunning for our probes. I am the skies, Uracle. I am the fire here. Got him! <laughs> what a dirty trick. Oh, that's so disgusting. First time doing it, and he went double star Phoenix. I was expecting him to swap into ground, but he committed like old school style. Like, I'm making nothing but Phoenix. And then got the robo for the detection, but... <laughs> I do need to get the Oracle a little bit earlier. So I need to remember to have that Oracle ready, like when the DT Shrine's finished. So this Phoenix here probably should have been the Oracle. Or well, this one, actually, right? Yeah, yeah, if, I think if I made this one, the Oracle, Chrono it, I'd probably get it at cross in time so that my first DTs don't die so easy. But the fact that we were able to get in before the, the Observer was out was already pretty amazing, right? The Phoenix coming to kind of distract him. His Observer's not out and these DTs just tear it up, man. We also depowered his uh, Stargates, right? And we just click one on it and luckily he didn't micro that to heal because he's too busy running probes around. But he kills this DT, right? And I was like, oh shit, that's nasty. And I come in, I'm trying to kill that Observer and I barely miss tagging it there. So it was actually, <laughs> actually really rough. And then we come in and I couldn't quite see it at first. And then finally I see it and I click it. And I sack a whole bunch of Phoenix and my Oracle. Seems bad, but if he doesn't have detection, you know, he's screwed. So I could have just focused the Robo down there and won the game right then and there if I had like four DTs running in. But I only had one and I lost my Oracle, so he does start eventually cleaning him up. But my DTs do just crazy damage to his economy. Even picking up a lot, like, he uses a lot of his Phoenix energy. Maybe he should have hung around and killed another 10, but he didn't have anything to kill my DTs. So he kind of needed to send the Phoenix home to defend that. <clears throat> and that's a huge problem for him. Yeah. As next, I take a lot of damage. <laughs> Brutal, man. Brutal. That's a dirty strategy. I love it. All right, all right, all right, guys. We got ourselves a Burger Flipper from the Terran GM race. And we're going to be trying to kill him with invisible units and snipers detection. Problem, Terran have bloody orbitals, which are hard to kill. So we'll need to get Phoenix or Blink Stalkers. I don't think you can really afford Phoenix while going DTs versus Terran. So I think what we're going to do is just use Stalkers to try and pick off a Raven if it gets out. And other than that, try and force a base trade. If the game gets messy, where the DTs are trying to just base trade along with like Zealots and Stalkers. And if we can snipe down the Orbital Command Centers, we can win a base trade, right? Because they just won't have any scans or Orbitals or anything like that. So we're starting off here with what's going to be just a nice expand opening. Um, and then we'll go straight for the Dark Templar tech. And we'll go pretty quickly into Blink for the DTs. You probably want to get Blink for your Stalkers first and uh, do it that way. I would... I would imagine. I would imagine. Uh, let's expand along the edge of the map because we're not going to have a large amount of stalkers with this strategy. Right. Right. Pretty early chrono boost, so the gas goes down 48 seconds. That's not too bad. Question is, do we want to bother scouting? I think I'll just check over here for proxy barracks. And uh, at the same time, I'm inadvertently checking for engineering bays, so get a nice little two for one value deal here. He could have proxied there a little bit further away, that's a possibility. But if I don't pull back now, I can't actually build my uh, Nexus on time. So. Ooh, I actually timed that out perfectly. I'm so impressed. <laughs> I never I never do that scout, so that was uh, not something that was memorized, but something we just had to kind of guess and judge. I was expecting to screw it up a little bit, so the rare moment where I exceed my own expectations. Hard for a cocky bastard like me. Normally too far up myself to uh, to make such judgments. All right, so we're gonna go for a second pylon here. Um, Twilight will complete the wall off in the top. SCV's hanging around. All 
I meant to A move those guys and mess that up. Shh. You didn't see anything, internet? You didn't see nothing. Twilight before going for anything else. And Whoopgate. Alright, let's go for Dark Templar on the bottom side. The firstborn shall persevere to glory. Alright. Spread those guys out a little bit. Well, this is a disaster, guys. We are going to lose a whole bunch of probes here. Where is he? He might be waiting for three Reaper 2, Hellion. Oh shit, that probably should have been an offensive DT, shouldn't it? Oh well. TT blinks on the way. That TT is going to walk in and die. Pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. Where's his turret at? Sloppy of him. Third CC. Okay, he's playing third CC. All right. <clears throat> That means we need to go straight for a fourth, so he's not going to push us at all. Alright. Oh, Blink isn't done for another, like, 35 seconds. How long does the hallucination last? 43 seconds, so it's okay. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. I think we're okay. I think. Let's get that fourth. And then we can play double forge, yeah? Because we want to just play mass upgraded units. Base tradey style. Lots of things that just hit. He'll have a Raven, of course, so I don't really have high hopes of doing all that much damage, but you never know. We get, what, 18 seconds left before these DTs can blink in the main? I'll hide him in the corner so they don't just blow their load straight away. Build a few gateways here. Uh, 
Get that energy, please. <laughs> uh, blink is made. That's going to go in there. Three more DTs on the left side. Oh, when did those guys get there? DTs are being very annoying, which is awesome. Time for battle. I bask in the twilight. What would you ask? Battle is upon us. Get the detection. Got him! <laughs> oh, that's so abusive, man. I almost feel bad because he's like, okay, we've deflected the DTs. I, I, I can throw my Raven away. I don't need missile turrets. I don't need anything. And I'm just like, oh, I'm the idiot that's going to actually keep massing DTs. <laughs> Even though I missed the first few Blinkins, that actually worked really well because like, look at this. His Raven goes out, doesn't see all the DTs that are waiting just outside his base. It barely misses that DT, these two DTs no turrets, throws the raven away to kill a few probes, and has no turrets. Oh my god, that's so... I mean, it's, obviously, he's being a little bit greedy, is my opponent. 
but still I feel pretty disgusting after taking advantage of this. This drop did great damage, the Raven did some damage, but then when I sent these DTs in, we actually did quite a bit. So already he's only at 51 SCVs, his third not really macroing that much, he's more focused on army. He's like army, 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 build big army, right? Killing the Forges was a great trade for him, stopped my 1-1, one, one, which also meant, you know, that of course if he gets plus one armor, my DTs won't one hit them anymore. But then I'm like, okay, I just got to do some damage. I can't wait any longer. He's screwing with me. So we kill a Cyclone. We kill a tank. And he's just dropped some mules, but he's still got a bunch of scans. He has plenty of scans available. Man, if I blinked these guys down and dodged scans, that would have been great. But these four were doing so much damage. Oh, and if I blinked on those tanks, that would have actually been beautiful. But uh, even these guys just kind of running around, forcing more scans, forcing more lost mining time. Does this DT survive? I forget. And then he runs into the main base. Yeah, and he's like just picking off depots and forcing more scans. And then there's more DTs in the third as well. So the tanks do deal with, but not before pretty much every SCV on that third goes down. Picking off depots as well. We get two more. Blink away, pick off that depot. I mean, this is super disgusting play. Another DT just walking in the natural. <laughs> so gross, man. So he tries to counter Doom Drop, which makes sense here. But it's just insane how much damage we're doing. There's just no detection in the main or the natural. The DTs are doing it. The moment we realize his army's there, I'm like, nope. We're just going to go for the base trade. And you'll notice, like, one of the first things I do once that tank's gone, is I blink a DT on that tank as well. And I'm just like, click the orbital. Blink up the cliff, click the orbital. As long as I can get rid of those, then we're all good. So that orbital goes down. He's got no scans. So this DT just can't be answered there huge so his best bet is to like win a base trade because these dts keep blinking on his army he doesn't have many marines and marauders left so he tries to scan here his last scan but he's already lost most of the units there's just too many dts for him to even fight that is a proper disgusting build man dude when you just throw all your dice in on trying to snipe the detection you create some really really just unforeseen circumstances because no one ever anticipates that's going to be your strategy super gross all right, let's go. Looking to try and take down my opponent with the Snipe the Detection Challenge. So it is a PvP. Uh, this is the matchup where we want to try and force a Phoenix War if we can. And uh, take it from a Phoenix War into some more badassness. Let's go. All right, we're going to get a pylon down here in the low ground nice and early. And uh, just going to... Not bother mining the extra five minerals. I finally stopped doing that. I was always obsessed with trying to return the five minerals, but I think it means you get back down here just a few seconds later. Better to get your gateway started on time. Have a nice crisp cyber core timing, I think. Go. Yeah, nice 39 second gate. It's way better than ending up with it at like 42, 43 seconds. Because that just slows down your cyber core and has this flow on effect that kind of ruins the best, uh, the rest of the build. Now we want to go double gas here. That's a very early probe. I don't know what he's up to exactly, but kind of looks like either a cannon rush or a proxy gate. Okay. It's actually just a two gate. All right. Nothing that crazy then. High ground. Saves a little bit of mining time. But very slow onto gas. So I've definitely, yeah, misread what was happening this game. And we also had an idle worker there. Okay. Tara. 
Phoenix. Looks like he's going adept straight into Twilight. It's not a bad way to play. Twilight, yeah? Twilight? Okay, it is a Twilight. That's good to know. Teleport successful. I am eager to strike. Zero I I am eager. Stay alive. Research. Okay, we're gonna get the DT shrine. Okay. That definitely made things awkward. TT Shrine will be done soon. Won't be able to get a fast warp in there, though. All right, Phoenix is going to move out. Is he still out here on the map? Or is he finished with that harassment? We'll find out in a moment. Okay. So we've got those. Let's get the Oracle now so that we can uh, revelate. I don't think he has detection, guys. He does not. Detection for you, buddy. Oh, we got it. Shit. Got it. We got the detection there. I am eager to from the shadows. I bask in the it's 
You got a new rover yet? Successful. <laughs> he got the observer out, but not good enough, mate. Not good enough. Oh my god, what a fun, fun, stupid build this is. Go Phoenix, they never expect ETs. And then use your Oracle to try and tag it if they do get an observer out. Delicious. Alright, here we are. Yeah, another PvP. And we are going to be doing some Protoss on Protoss Hate Chrome. We're going to be getting invisible men. We're going to be using those with Phoenix overhead to gun down our opponent's observers. Give them an absolutely terrible time. Third base, fourth base, fifth base. But we don't really want to get to that stage in the game. Keep our eyes out. That's a pretty early probe coming across the map, so that just tells us that he's gone one gate expand on the, or he's planning to go one gate, but he's built it on the low ground, which is why his probes there a little bit earlier than mine. He's already got the Stargate on the way, as do I. Phoenix War will be forced. Fantastic, that's very good for me. I'm going to let him expand, guys. I'm not going to invest any more in it. Opponent didn't bother with the pylon, so you could argue that they win the opening, but I don't think it really matters too much. Uh, all right, let's get that Nexus up. Alright, we run home. We have got Phoenix on the way. We're gonna make sure we keep chronoing these. And we're trying to get that DT shrine up behind it, of course. Uh, so let's see if we can get down that right side of the map. Alright, we've got 17 workers on minerals. That's probably a little bit too many. A little bit too many. Alright, alright. Uh, do we have any chrono available? We do not. Very few people commit to all-out Phoenix Wars these days. Hoping it's the same for my opponent. Well, actually, no. I'd, I'd actually like him to do that, wouldn't I? Now that I think about it. <laughs> All right. I do have to be careful, of course. Um,
Lion. Oh, we're going to warp in DTs across the gap as well. It would be super brutal. It's barely in range there. I don't have a second gate yet, do I? Oops. Beast warp gate should be ready just barely in time. I will try to come in the main, pick off a gas probe, and then pull back. This sort of stuff, just distracting my opponent, will be very effective, I think. And we want to go Oracle now. Oh shit, showed myself. Get out, get out, get out. If we get caught with Inferior Phoenix count, we're in huge trouble. Now, if we can just see if his Stargate's actually producing Phoenix or not, that's huge. It is. He does have Warp Gate, though. Alright, first things first, DT warping across the gap. See if we can do anything there. From the shadows I come. Ah, we got him! That's it! That's it. Didn't even have detection. My opponent was going Fleet Beacon. They were committed to two Stargate Phoenix. We didn't even get to sniping the detection. I had the Phoenix and the Oracle ready. So even if he counterattacked, I was going to avoid fighting him head on. And I was just going to dive on the Observer. But DT's in the base, warping it across the gap. Dirty. <laughs> you guys got to try this pylon out. It's super disgusting, man. I've uh, sometimes even done like warping in Zealots there while charging at the front. It's, uh, it's gross. <laughs>